Hey everybody, it's Conrad here from 8DO, and today I'm going to take you on a journey through our wonderful marimba library. So I think this instrument speaks for itself, so I don't want to do that much talking just so we can hear the instrument, and I'm already talking too much, so let's go ahead, jump in, let's hear what mallet one articulation sounds like. absolutely huge sound. Let me go ahead and hit a note from each octave just so you can get an idea of what it sounds like across the entire range of the keyboard. So a very large full sound. So let's jump over to the next articulation which is mallet 2. Now to hear the difference between mallet 1 and mallet 2, let me go ahead and I'm just going to keep hitting a note over and over again, and I'll switch between both of them so you can hear. So now let's get into the slightly weirder things. Let's start with brushes. This has such a cool, snappy, percussive sound to it. Now let's get really weird with it. Let's get to the bowed marimba. Yep, that, I just said that. Bowed marimba articulation. <laughs> that sound is so cool. So now let's get into some of the slightly more technical articulations. So let's start here with rolls mallet 1. Now, with rolls, we have a mallet 1 and a mallet 2 variation. But first, let's jump over to our original mallet 1 articulation and try to replicate a roll. So it doesn't come out sounding as natural as an actual roll. And as a mediocre piano player, uh, the dexterity required to keep that going for a while I just simply don't have it. So with one of these rolls articulations, I can just hold down a single note. And I have a natural roll. And I can also use the mod wheel to shape the dynamics. And it has such a natural change in dynamics. And I don't even have to hold down just one note, I can hold down multiple notes, make huge chords with it. And of course the mallet 2 variation. Now this bottom row of articulations, let me go ahead and play one of them. So you can hear I'm controlling the dynamics again with the mod wheel, but you can hear that they are these repetitions. And this is a similar case of, you could roughly replicate it with some of the original articulations, but these ones give it such a more natural fill. And of course they're divided by mallet and also division, 8th, 16th, 32nd. And actually down here, you can double the speed, or even make it triplets. Then just really quickly going over the rest of the instrument, we have our series of controls here for the width and pan of the instrument, the amp envelope, so the attack and the decay. We have a pitch envelope, we have a filter envelope, a shape, which is the body and high, and then the dynamics. Of course, here in the middle, we have our sequencer, 
our modulation window when you're on the proper articulation and the filter LFO, all of which you can change their speed using the little arrow here. We have all of our microphone positions right here, the little mixer, equalizer, and then also our effects. And on the back page, we have our standard chaos effects. So now that was definitely enough talking. Let's go ahead and listen to this instrument in the context of an entire piece. So be sure to jump over to 8do.com, check out the 8do marimba for yourself. <laughs> 